Pandemic Flu, an Exercise in Disaster Preparedness. The University of Arizona's Interprofessional Education and Practice Program holds four mini courses each year. One of those mini courses is the Interprofessional Education Simulation Pandemic Flu, an Exercise in Disaster Preparedness. The IPEP pandemic flu exercise has been occurring yearly since 2008 and is typically held during the fall semester each year. Previously offered as a single day activity, in 2012 pandemic flu was transformed into a four week non-credit mini course that includes pre and post online learning in addition to the live three hour pandemic simulation. On average, about 300 to 400 students participate in the pandemic flu mini course. A single day simulation of this size also involves 40 to 50 faculty, staff, and volunteers who plan, organize, and execute the mini course and simulation. The simulated pandemic helps prepare future health professionals to address the threats and consequences of public health emergencies and underscores the importance of collaboration across professional lines. Students explore the complex social, psychological, legal, and public health issues faced during a health emergency. Scenarios include decisions to prioritize patients given limited resources and an exploration of their duty to treat when their own health and safety are at risk. Students negotiate and navigate through challenges in order to distribute vaccines and make critical decisions while considering the impact on the community. The Pandemic Flu mini course as a whole reinforces teamwork, quality, safety, and effectiveness through joint learning. Students learn to articulate the roles and functions of different health and human service professionals and to explain how cooperation among federal, state, and local jurisdictions and public-private agencies and organizations can improve effective disease control measures. On the day of the pandemic simulation, students gather on the Arizona Health Sciences Center campus in Tucson where they report to their assigned rooms. Each room represents different sites throughout Arizona and each site is connected through telemedicine video conferencing technology. In 2012, there were eight sites represented, including Tucson, Phoenix, Bisbee, Flagstaff, Prescott, Tuba City, Yuma, and the State EOC. The State EOC, short for Emergency Operations Center, serves as the central command during the simulation. Each year, the EOC is staffed by a panel of experts who come from a variety of fields, including government, healthcare, practice, and academia. The simulation always begins with a keynote address by an expert in the EOC. In past years, the keynote has been given by Dr. Richard Carmona, 17th Surgeon General of the United States, the president of the nonprofit Canyon Ranch Institute, and distinguished professor at the UA Zuckerman College of Public Health. In his keynotes, Dr. Carmona encourages students to focus on preparation and collaboration among all in the healthcare and social work fields. As the pandemic simulation kicks off, various scenarios arise and students must collaborate with one another to quickly make decisions about shortages of vaccines and reporting to work when one's own health is at risk. Student groups working in the EOC have some added challenges they must tackle. As part of the Emergency Operations Center, they are charged with reallocating vaccines across various communities with shortages. During the simulation, facilitators and experts work with students across the different sites. Having each site connected to the EOC via video conferencing, allow students and facilitators to interact with the EOC in real time. Through the video and audio feeds, students and facilitators at each of the sites are able to see questions asked by other sites, as well as receive critical updates from the EOC. The simulation wraps up with a hot wash. 
and after action discussion and evaluation of the training simulation. The hot wash is led by the EOC panel of experts, each of whom takes turns answering questions that come in from the different sites and providing feedback within their specific areas of expertise. For the first time in 2012, the Pandemic Flu mini course included students and faculty from all three state universities, the University of Arizona, Arizona State University, and Northern Arizona University. The 2012 Statewide Interprofessional Education mini course was a great success, and plans are already underway for IPEP to host the second Statewide Interprofessional mini course in November of 2013. To learn more about the Pandemic Flu mini course, visit the IPEP website at ipep.arizona.edu. To see more photos from past Pandemic Flu simulations, visit the IPEP Facebook photo album. If you have questions, please contact Interprofessional Education and Practice at info at ipep.arizona.edu.